that it's a new year and this year we're going to be learning all about how God loves all of us. This month our memory verse is a lot of fun so it goes like this. With God all things are possible. Matthew 19 26. Let's say it and do the motions together. With God, point up, with God all things hands in a circle, all things are possible. Matthew, let's see your books. Matthew 19, 26. Awesome job, friends. Today, we're gonna hear how God did something special. So let's jump right in. Josh, and I'm so glad that you're all here with me today. To get things going, let's all shout, hey friends, on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Hey friends! Whoa, that was a good one. When we're together, we always get to listen to an amazing Bible story and some really awesome music. But before we do any of that, we get to have fun. That's right, I'm thinking we should play a super fun game. Do you think you can help me play Marshmallow Mix-Up? Yeah? Oh, this is gonna be so cool! All right, now I'm gonna hide these marshmallows under one of these cups. Then you'll have to guess where they are. Sounds easy, right? Now I'm gonna mix them up, just like this. All right, now which cup has the marshmallows? What? You think they're under the red cup? You're right, they were under the red cup. Okay, it looks like you're really, really good at this. So let's try it again, but let's make it a little bit harder. All right, this time we'll have a red cup, a blue cup, a green cup, and a yellow cup. 
but only one of them has the marshmallows. Okay, now I'm gonna hide the marshmallows here. Okay, now we mix, 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 and one more time. Okay, now which cup has the marshmallows? Is it red, blue, green, or yellow? Did I hear green? Well, let's check. No, it's not the green cup. Which one? Oh, you think yellow? Well, let's see. Yes! The marshmallows were under the yellow cup. That was a really great job, everybody. Now let's try again, but let's make it even more fun. Okay, this time we have a red cup, a blue cup, a green cup, a yellow cup, a purple cup, and an orange cup. So many cups, but only one of them has the marshmallows. And I'm gonna hide them here. Okay, now we mix, 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 and mix. Okay, whoa, there's so many cups. But which one has the marshmallows? Is it red, blue, green, yellow, purple, or orange? Which one do you think? Did you say orange? Well, let's check. Okay, it's not the orange cup. Which one do you want to check next? The blue one? Well, let's find out. Nope, it's not the blue cup either. Everybody think really, really hard. Where could those delicious marshmallows be? Oh, you think the purple cup? Well, let's find out. It is the purple cup, yay! All right, let's play one last time. Let's hide the marshmallows uh, here. Okay, here we go, everybody. One more time. Mix, 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 and one more. Okay, which cup do you think has marshmallows? Oh, friends, did I hear you say green? Well, let's find out. Wow, that was incredible. You all are so smart. You guessed green and got it on the very first try. Way to go, everybody. That gives me a great idea. I can invite my friends over and have some nice hot cocoa. <sighs> wow, that was a really fun game. But now I think it's time for an amazing Bible story. So let me see your hands. Open them, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap. Great job, everybody. I think we're ready now. Hey, boys and girls, my name's Jeff, and I'm so excited to tell you something amazing I read in my favorite book. Do you know what book I'm talking about? That's right, it's the Bible. And the Bible is important because it helps us know how much God loves us. And I was reading in the Bible and I read something really amazing that Jesus did. It all started when there were some fishermen in their boats fishing. Now, usually they were very good at catching fish, but on this day, the fishermen threw their nets over the side of the boat and nothing happened. So they tried throwing their nets over the other side of the boat and nothing. No fish was a big problem. They needed to catch fish to feed their families. So they tried again. They threw their nets on this side of the boat do you think there were any fish? Nope, no fish. And they tried again on this side of the boat. Do you see any fish? Nope, not one fish. Where had all the fish gone? They tried everything they could think of and still not one fish was caught in their nets. They tried and they tried and they tried all night long. They tried to catch fish and still not one fish landed in their nets. Finally, the fishermen decided they were gonna park their boats and stop fishing. They thought no one could catch any fish that day. Well, Jesus saw the fishermen cleaning up their boat and their nets to go home for the day. And he stepped onto one of their boats. Jesus told Peter, the fisherman, to go back out into the deep water and drop his nets. 
Well, Peter told Jesus that all the fishermen had tried to catch fish all night long and no one had seen a single fish and they were cleaning up to go home. They were so tired after working all day. Can you stretch and yawn with me? Uh, yeah. And they were sad because they didn't catch anything all day long. Hey, can you show me your sad face? Yeah, that's a sad face. You do look sad. But Peter, he decided to listen to Jesus and do what he asked. He got back in his boat and he sailed into the deep water, just like Jesus told him to do. Then Peter threw the nets out into the water. And do you know what happened? Fish happened, that's what. Fish were everywhere. There were so many fish filling up the nets. I mean, the fish were coming from all directions. Jesus and Peter watched as the fish just kept filling the nets. There were so many fish that Peter had to call to the other fishermen to bring their boats to help because there were so many fish that his boat started to sink. The fish just kept coming and coming and coming. All sorts of fish, all different sizes of fish. The fishermen couldn't believe their eyes. First, there were no fish. But when they listened to Jesus, there were so many fish that their nets were breaking and their boats were sinking. It was amazing. It was something only Jesus could do. Only Jesus could make fish appear where there were none. When the boats returned to shore, the fishermen were so amazed by what happened. They knew that Jesus can do anything. So they left their boats and their nets and they followed Jesus. Wow. At first, catching fish was the most important thing to the fishermen. But when the fishermen saw what Jesus could do, they left everything to follow him. Now being with Jesus was the most important thing to them because they knew that Jesus can do anything. Let's pray and thank God for sending Jesus to help us. If you're ready to pray, give me a big clap. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to help us. Help us remember that Jesus can do anything. We love you, God. Amen. Wow, I'm gonna remember all week long that Jesus can do anything. I had a great time learning with you today, friends. Bye. Wow, that was so, so awesome. And I've had so much fun. But the fun isn't over yet. It's time to sing and dance to a super duper fun song. So make sure you've got your dancing shoes on and I'll see you again real soon. Bye friends. No problem is too big or small. I 
Wow, in the beginning, the fish were the most important thing to the fishermen, but when, they, when the fishermen saw that Jesus could do, mm, wow, in the beginning, the fish were the most important thing to the fishermen, but when the fishermen saw that Jesus, what Jesus could do, they left everything to follow him. Now, being with Jesus was the most important thing to them because they knew that Jesus can do anything. So when I say who can do anything, I want you to say Jesus can do anything. Are you guys ready? Who can do anything? Jesus can do anything. That's right, friends. Awesome job today. I can't wait to see you guys here next time. Before you go, I would love to pray with you. We would go hands this way and we go them that way. We go all around a circle, fold them together, bow your heads, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to help us. Please help us remember that Jesus can do anything. We love you, God. Amen. Awesome job today, friends. I can't wait to see you here next time. Bye.